Hi, this is Marty from Photoshop Art House. Today, I'm going to show you the fastest and most effective method to swap faces in photos. Open two photos of faces that you'd like to use for this project. For the best results, choose images where the subjects are facing forward, are in sharp focus, and have similar lighting. Also, ensure that both faces are close in size, have the same resolution, and have similar grain. Don't worry about matching their color, brightness, and contrast. Those will be adjusted later. In this example, I'll be placing this face onto the head of the other subject. Open the Lasso tool and draw a selection around the features you want to transfer. Press V to activate the Move tool. Then drag the selected area onto the tab of the other subject. Drag it down and release. To resize or rotate it, press Ctrl or Command T to bring up the Transform tool. Go to a corner and press and hold Alt or Option as you drag it out or in until it's sized to fit the head under it. To reposition it, just drag it. If the head under the face is at a slight angle, hover near a corner until you see a curved double arrow, then rotate it to match the angle of the head. Then press Enter or Return. Control or Command click the face cutout to select its shape. Go to Select, Modify, and Contract. Contract it by 5 pixels. Make the bottom layer active and press the Delete key to remove the area of the face that's inside the selection. Deselect it by pressing Ctrl or Command D. Shift click the top layer to activate it as well and go to Edit and Auto Blend Layers. Choose Stack Images since the images we want to blend are literally stacked in place on top of each other in the Layers panel. Make sure seamless tones and colors and content-aware fill transparent areas are checked. Immediately, Photoshop automatically blended the layers together, correcting all tonal and color inconsistencies. If you notice distracting areas on the face, we'll clean those up next. If you see any residual selections, just press Ctrl or Command D to deselect them. Open the Remove tool. I recommend using Auto Mode, which leverages Photoshop's generative AI. Note, you'll need to be online for this. Also, I like to remove the distractions after each stroke, so I checked this option. Brush over any distracting areas to clean them up. Lastly, we'll adjust its overall tones. But before we do, let's convert it into a smart object so we can make adjustments non-destructively. Click the icon in the upper right corner of the Layers panel and choose Convert to Smart Object. Go to Image, Adjustments, and Shadows Highlights. Setting the shadows amount to 0% reveals the original image. For this example, I'll set shadows to 12% to bring out more detail in the darker areas, and I'll set the highlights to 6% to recover a bit of detail in the lightest tones. Feel free to adjust these settings based on what works best for your image. This is Marty from Photoshop Art House. If you found this helpful, please click like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.